you can now capture the active viewport of your Unreal project to Spout or NDI using the live streaming toolkit. To do so, select this new OWL viewport capture actor from the Offworld Live section of the Place Actors panel, drag and drop it into your level. And you'll see when selected in the Details panel, this allows you to add a texture target, which is capturing your viewport. So just assign a render target as normal. So in this case, I've got this test render target. And if we open it up, we can see that it is exactly capturing my active viewport, like so. Now this works both in editor and at runtime and also in standalone or built projects. So for example, if we go into play an editor here, we'll see that the texture target is just capturing exactly what I've got in my play and editor window, standalone window. And obviously, because it's a texture target, I can output it to Spout or NDI using the Spout or NDI sender managers. So that's done as normal. You can see here I've got this array and I've got this test render target selected there. So that's the render target to which I'm capturing the viewport. If I tick active, now it'll send to Spout or NDI. Now, one thing to remember is if you are using it in a standalone game, you need to, in your Spout or NDI receiver, look for the standalone name rather than the standard name. So if you go into standalone, then you'll be looking for test standalone rather than test.